is a, um, a very Ally. senior Saudi officials essentially acting like a, a mafia don, uh, going to the president of Russia saying that, well, you do what we want uh, and we won't unleash terrorism in Russia. And this has been the Saudi game uh, all along. It has been doing this uh, for years and years, uh, going to uh, various countries and threatening uh, terrorism because it has the power. I mean, it has, it has enormous resources at its disposal and it has been the chief uh, exporter of terrorism in the world. So there was this fraudulent uh, war on terror that, we're, that we've been waging and are still waging um, against the very states that uh, have had nothing to do with terror and have always been the, uh, the anti-Saudi uh, 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 elements within the Middle East. So we've had uh, the war against uh, Syria, uh, a war against Iraq, Oh, both and against Libya, all three of which had nothing whatever to do with al-Qaeda. These were always secular, anti-Islamist, anti-Salafist regimes, the very opposite, the way they were the supposedly, which should be the allies, and in fact were de facto allies of the United States in the war on terror, and now are, are targeted by the United States in cahoots and at the, uh, uh, at, at the behest of Saudi Arabia, the, uh, the, the chief uh, sponsor of terrorism in the world. Okay, Jason, do you think Saudi Arabia's vision uh, Peter, for the Peter. greater Middle East is a positive vision? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you know, Peter, I, I, I find it, I'm in an awkward position of having to defend uh, the values of a country uh, with which, of course, I, I, I have huge problems. But, um, but it's an important strategic relationship for the United States. Uh, there, it's a democracy deficit. There's a values deficit. There is a, a terrible history of, in support of extremism uh, of various kinds around the world and, of course, in its own country. But it is an important strategic partner of the United States in defending the Gulf and in defending other interests. Um, I wouldn't go beyond that. I, I, there, there is truth in some of what, uh, what George is saying about the, uh, the danger that has been posed by that country, but it is an important relationship for the United States. Well, George, I mean, at the and end of the day. And for stability in that, in, in that region. Yeah, and but it is a vitally important energy supplier. Let's not forget that. Well, we all know that, but I mean, values are applied for some people and values are applied for, uh, not applied for others. I mean, this is the, one of the reasons why the, I'm going to go to George here. This is one of the reasons why uh, America's reputation in the Middle East has plummeted. It just, it's duplicitous. It's hypocrisy all of the time, all of the time, George. Yes, exactly. Uh, because uh, the allies of the United States uh, in this uh, in, in this current uh, conflict um, in, in Syria, before that in Libya, are uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the various uh, Gulf states, uh, which are the worst regimes uh, in, in the world and, uh, you know, which actually, uh, you know, repress uh, um, political movements uh, when they're inconvenient to them, such as in uh, Bahrain at, at the very time when they, uh, they, they were sponsoring um, uh, the, um, the, the Salafists in uh, Libya. So uh, what, what really happens is the United States then says, oh, well, the, 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 these are our allies, you know, they, uh, they, they're, so, they're very good for us and they provide uh, stability in the Gulf. But they provide no stability in the Gulf. I mean, the, the goal is um, basically to control um, the en energy supplies in the, uh, in the Middle East. And, and this cannot be good for uh, the rest of the world when uh, the, the energy supplies in the Middle East are going to be controlled by one block of powers and can therefore uh, threaten the rest of the world with, by cutting them off from the energy supplies. So therefore, this is something Look, that is a, a a very dangerous for the rest of the world and 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 Okay, I mean, I think we all agree that Saudi Arabia is an important energy yeah. supplier. But Jason, you, you know, is what about the fact that uh, it, the United States and all th all three of us on this program agree about energy? But Saudi Arabia looks at it through a religious prism. Okay, Sunnis against Shia, and isn't that going to drag the United States into making choices that we you've already agreed to that are not convenient choices based on our values? Um. Peter, it's an extremely messy world, and it's a very messy region, uh, and the United States has very difficult options and, uh, and sometimes very problematic friends. But I think that uh, given this very complicated uh, equation that the United States has to play with, and not just the United States, uh, I think that it's, uh, it's generally been on the right path of trying to support stability, trying to encourage efforts toward political reform against corruption, against oppression, against intolerance, but it has been very problematic, and, and, well, and yes, even yeah, okay, some of but, our 
our, you know, Jason, our allies, like let me Saudi ask Arabia, you a have question. not always been uh, on the right side of it. Okay, I agree. Would you like to see an Arab Spring in Saudi Arabia, in Bahrain, and in Kuwait, and Qatar? Would you like to see that? Uh, I, I, Peter, I really don't want to sit on your program and encourage revolution across the Arab world. Um, well, that's democracy. Uh, We've been promoting we, democracy like to, for we, decades. Like see that's is, democracy, we, uh, isn't we would it? All want to see, we would all want to see. We would all want to see an embrace of reform, an embrace of democracy. It's a complicated process, and it's it's helpful when it happens based on foundations and principles that are widely accepted by the populace and have some historical roots. And frankly, that's been missing and deprived of the people of the Arab world for for generations. Yeah. We hope that, that that can be grown in time, but it's not going to happen overnight. Okay, jo George, where does that deprivation come from? Well, yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't see it. I, I, I mean, I, I, what I see is Saudi Arabia uh, increasingly um, to, uh, using, uh, again, it's uh, Islamism to topple uh, regimes and to exert hegemony uh, over um, the rest of the Middle East. And I think that is a very bad thing um, because I think that the, the very people that the Saudis uh, sponsor are the worst elements uh, in, in the Middle East. They are the, the most extreme, the most dangerous elements. And these are the people that Saudi Arabia is using in order to uh, topple Far more, far more civilized, far more uh, uh, advanced states, um, and and which and therefore the ultimate outcome has to be something that is uh, very, very dangerous. So what we call uh, spring um, is we see that you know with the the, the cannibals that uh, that, are, that are running rampant in Syria. <laughs> okay, J J well, I think one. Go I ahead, think Jason. Go ahead. If I'm Go ahead. May, may, I, may I? I mean, I think an, an alternative reality, and I think maybe closer to the reality, uh, is um, is is the other pole that's uh, that's that's driving uh, these negative forces in the region, and that comes from Iran and it comes from Syria, countries that, frankly, are very heavily supported uh, currently and protected by by uh, by Russia, uh, but countries that pose us an enormous uh, terrorist threat and uh, and strategic threat to, uh, to 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 the whole region, to the West. To your country, uh, and I, I, I fear that if we spend all of our time focusing on the danger posed by Saudi Arabia and ignoring the huge danger that's posed well, by well, I don't, Iran you know, is, if I could go uh, to George, I don't see, I don't see Hezbollah. Iran invading any countries. I don't see Syria invading any countries. I see them all besieged. Okay, George. Uh, you have, you have yes, absolutely. I, I, exactly. I, I, I have seen no. Uh, let's go to George. Come on, Syria. let's be fair. Syria. Go ahead, George. Syria. Go ahead, George. Syria. Go ahead, George. Yeah. Yeah. Syria was an, an ally of the United States uh, in the war on terror. I mean, it was a very actively cooperating in the, uh, in, in the extraordinary rendition program. Um, moreover, um, the, uh, the, in the same, same way that goes, goes for Iran. And uh, I, I don't see why we could say that Syria, wh what's the evidence that Syria uh, sponsors terrorism in the world? I mean, Syria is certainly um, aligned with Hezbollah, but Hezbollah is a political movement in uh, Lebanon, and when it comes to uh, um, the, the Golan into, Heights, into neighboring I mean, Israel I think even Israelis and, uh, and, and kills Israelis from time to time. Syria has been extremely, uh, very, has been extremely uh, helpful towards uh, Israel in the Golan Heights. It's created no problems at all for Israel since 1967 in the Golan Heights. Jason, reply. Go ahead. Okay, just a few wars in the background. Just a few wars in the background, but not recently. Okay, just supporting Hezbollah, which is not just a political movement, but happens to be a terrorist organization. It's a resistance that has movement. All kinds of blood no, on its hands, Jason, including from, from Jason. I American, hate to do American this. I hate to have to interrupt. I hate to interrupt my guests like this. Why not? Everyone in the world looks at Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. A small number of countries do aligned with the United States. Okay, go ahead, Jason. I'll give you the last word. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, uh, Peter, I just, I, I miss what you just said. Hezbollah is a terrorist organization. It's a resistance movement. It's long been movement. supported by Syria. Resistance helping, uh, helping us, helping Assad, helping Assad right now kill his own people. And you're saying that somehow it's just a political organization? That's nonsense. Okay, it's a political organization of resistance. Well, it's a political organization that, that uh, Go ahead, grew George. up um, uh, as a result of the Israeli invasion of Lebanon. That has 100,000 100, missiles pointed at don't Israel. Don't invade uh, Lebanon and then uh, and agitate the, uh, the Shiites. The Shiites in Lebanon and had been very pro-Israeli up until the 1982 invasion, hence uh, the rise of uh, Hezbollah. All right, gentlemen, excellent debate. We had two great sides here. Many thanks today to my guests in Washington and in New York. And thanks to our viewers for watching us here at RT. See you next time. And remember